Hey everybody, welcome to I Heart Board Games on this International Tabletop Day. We are here today to start streaming a new game for you guys. Uh, we're going to be streaming Charterstone, the great game from designer Janie Stegmeier um, and Stonemeyer Games. I'm Ronald, and with me I have... Travis H. Williams. And... <laughs> Melissa Sedgley. And Jesse. And um, like I said before, we're going to be playing Charterstone. Now, none of us have ever played this game before. Uh, and although this is not a learn how to play channel, uh, we're going to be learning how to play the game because the game teaches you as you play it. So you'll get to learn with us. <laughs> so it'll be a learn to play anyway. Exactly. Yay! We didn't mean for it to be, but it will be. Um, if you're here with us, feel free to chat with us down below. We'd love to engage with you as we play the game. Cool. We already rolled the dice to see who was going to be the first player, which is going to be Travis. Well, <laughs> if I win nothing else today, I've won that. <laughs> <laughs> and the first thing that this tells us to do is pull out this card and start reading it. So here, Travis, you want to do the honors? I would love to. <clears throat> Arrival, story one. The immortal Forever King has selected six citizens four, of Green Gully to start a new village far from the Eternal City. Congratulations for being chosen. Your goal is to bring the greatest glory to the Forever King, so you may rule the village in his name. Mm. After spending all day flying over the kingdom, the zeppelin sets down and the guards open the hatch for you and your companions. Instructions. Unfold the game board either side and put the objective mat mm. and advancement mat next to the board. Done. Locate and open the Chronicle rulebook. Peel the sticker off this card and affix it to the indicated space, page six. Then place the card remnant in the archive. Yay, archives. <laughs> you will do this for all story and rule cards. Great. And then we also have an important bit of text here at the bottom that tells us to extract card two from the index. Ah. If you can figure out a way to open it, probably the other side. Ah! That goes into the archive, sir. I'm excited. Card two. Using the archives. Mm. Melissa, you want to go ahead and read that to us? All right, let's see. Story two. The sun is setting as you venture outside. The location is a lush landscape of rolling hills, patches of trees, and a babbling brook. The guards unload a number of mysterious crates and forbid you to open any of them, except for the one labeled Scriptorium. Open it now. We already did that. Yep. <laughs> We're over uh, The scriptorium mm. tuck box is where you'll store global components from game to game. During the game, these global components, along with advancement cards, form the general supply. General supply. And they are all limited as follows. 36 coins, 72 resource tokens, 12 each of metal, grain, wood, coal, clay, and pumpkin. One charter stone. That's the die. One progress token. And four plastic bags. Hmm. Okay, and then what Extract else did I say there? card three from Just the Just like index. every settling colony needs, four plastic bags. Of course. No more, no less. <laughs> Do I have to keep the things in the archive in order? Who wishes to read I story so. three? I Let Jesse. I have a degree. I guess I'm reading it. Read three. The group gathers around a large rock. You recognize it as a charter stone, just like the one at the center of the Eternal City. The village is divided into six charters, each with hexagonal plots. Each player sh should now adjust their seating position to permanently select their charter. We've already done that. Uh, claim your charter chest, the box with your charter emblem, the text on it will be explained later. Then open it to reveal these components. Two regular workers, one big, one small, one victory point token, oh yes, yeah, we already put them there, and 12 influence tokens. Extract cards 200 through 205 from the index and match them with each player. Well, you might want to mark which side that opens. <laughs> the it's, it's the way you read index. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's like you can read it, it, you're looking at the right direction. Yeah. Oh, there it is. 
200 to 205. Correct. 200 to 205. Those are down here. Too. And match them with each player. Right, For each inactive charter, place their persona card in their charter chest. Uh, these are not easy to get out. Okay. And there's 201. Oh, so we have the extra charter chest off to the side. Uh, I think the extra ones are actually still in the box. Yeah, these are ours. Oh, oh those are ours. And 205. I'm a lady. I'm a gray-haired man. I look like my mother. Okay, anything like else? Goldilocks um, aged a little bit. <laughs> so you're gray locks. Yeah, gray. But no, it's still golden. Golden. Each player names their persona right on the card. This is who you are for the campaign. I'm going to name mine right on the card. And they're all going to die immediately after the first game. <laughs> no spoilers for any other games here, right. folks. I'm not referencing anything. <laughs> oh, but you know what? We really should say there will be spoilers for this game for sure. So if you don't right. want to see any spoilers, turn away now. And there already yeah. have been, technically. <laughs> technically, so yes. if this has been spoiled for you, go back and watch this. Extract universe. card four from the index. Extract card four. <laughs> index. Open. So I'm naming my person, eh? I think um, I might wait to see how his personality is before I name sharpies, him. I think. You can yeah. read story four. Okay, do you want to put the sticker in while I do that? Melissa. It goes right here where it says story three. It could just be Jesse, right? Three. Could be. Could be. I'm going to name mine right on the card. Story three. Isn't that what the instructions say? Yeah. Name yeah. yours right on the card? It's a little on the nose, don't you think? No, it's going to be on the card. Why don't you call it on the nose? Because <laughs> it's going to be on the card. <laughs> when the guards leave, you scout your charter for your first charter building. The village will rely on access to basic resources to survive, grow, and prosper. There we are. Mm. Extract cards 5 to 10 from five the index. To ten. 5 to 10. And give each player the card that matches their charter. Set aside the cards for inactive players for a moment. Five. I look like I'm up to no good now. Six. I just, I look like a... Sweet little homemaker. Like a sweet little old I did name her Wright, W R I G H T. Right. On the card. Her name is Wright. On the card. And her middle name is On the. And her last name is Card. So I'm yellow. You are blue. Jesse is red. Green over there. Travis is green. And these two will just set to the side for now. Forest Basic. Okay. Have a cave. Welcome to the forest base. So, these cards Take feature the your basic resource building, where players will place workers to gain one of the indicated resource. So, for example, mine is wheat. Yours is wood. Lumber. Clay. Mine's and yours cave. is metal. Metal. You should name so your guy right Clay. <laughs> Clay pit. Oh <laughs> Each player it removes the sticker me. from their corresponding card and affixes it permanently to any That's plot in their charter. Buildings must be oriented in the same way as all other buildings on the board. Each player keeps their constructed building card face up in front of them. They'll need it later. So is there any... So we put it in like one of these little spots Does it matter where we put it? Like According to Rodney Smith, it does not matter where you stick it. So like it's not going to be later where like, oh, you can't build this building unless you have a blah, blah, blah next to it. All I know is what Rodney told me, and this is a worker placement game, so I'm guessing it's just a place to stick a worker, and it doesn't really matter their proximity. To Rodney, we're counting on you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm Clay Pitt with two T's. Yes! Hey. Oh, brother Brad Pitt. <laughs> <laughs> or early ancestor. Oh, right, right. Brad sure. Pitt. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. This is the fun part of gaming, my... sticking things on on board. Everybody gets to do this right now, right? Yeah. Just anywhere, where. eh? In your, in your area. Plot. In my area. So this is your charter right yeah. here. I, mean, I don't know I'm if gonna you want to put that. it over here on this side or on this side. I think I might just put it right here by my name. If it doesn't yeah. matter. Extract yeah. card 11, please. Extract card 11. I bet I'm out of focus. Sticker. It's locked focus. Extract card 11. Oh, so yes. Yeah, to nine. your close up camera. Actually, no, you're fine. Still far away from it. Welcome to the forest, basic. <clears throat> this is not easy. You do perfectly. No, it was not. But I saw Rodney didn't do it perfectly either. Hmm. Well, the. Rodney, we actually love you. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. I'll do it. We do. 
Fair enough. I'm gonna put mine over here next to the wall. Put back into the archive. archive And then the card that you had that had the sticker on it, keep that in front of you for now. Oh, there's my key. All right. Got my clay pit in front of me. Got my right. clay pit in front of me. Oh, I take it. Since card three is in front of me, that was meant to be him as well. I don't know what to name my person. Yes. I don't know where that one came from. Could you read that? I would love to read this. For fewer than six players. Story five. Regardless of the number of human players in any given game of Charterstone, there are always six founding villagers, like Cylons, mm -hmm. uh, each operating a different charter. A charter not controlled by a player is called an inactive charter, but it is still very much a part of the growing village. If there are fewer than six players, affix each remaining building sticker to a plot in the indicated, indicated inactive charters. Place their constructed building card on the advancement mat for now. The game will so soon introduce a way for inactive charters to grow, but if at any time you would like these charters to act like human players, please read and use the Automa rulebook. Mm. Automa? They recommend not Automa? doing that until later. This is necessary for solo games, but we recommend that two plus player games only consider that after game one or two, parentheses, not now. So yeah. Put a remaining building stickers on the inactive right. charters, and then put their Who advancement cards on the thing. I'll do this top one. Extract card twelve, please. It's a garden where you make pumpkins. I named my guy Tex. Tex. Yeah. He's a big landowner. <laughs> He's into wheat. I think mine's gonna be Panora, just because that's what I name everything. Mm -hmm. Doesn't she make bread? Panora bread? <laughs> uh, I think it goes. You make metal. Set. Or, oh, it's that thing. To be claimed. I think so. And you can have this one. Panora. Mm. Uh, Melissa, if you'll read this one. Okay. Sets extract cards 206 through 218 from the index. So that first. Place the eight assistant cards on the advancement mat and the five objective cards on the objective mat. So let me get all these cards out. So 206, 207, 8, 9, 10. 2010? Yes. <laughs> Sorry, 2011. 12. 12. 13. 14. 15. 16. 17. 18. Okay. Let's just type it. This one. So it says to place the eight assistant cards on the advancement mat and the five objective cards on the objective mat. You will soon shuffle the cards on each of the mats into their respective decks. Open the chronicle and proceed with the setup instructions. Then for players who haven't read the rules in advance, explain a player turn, rule 15, the buildings in the commons, rule 17, the cloud port, rule 22, and the reputation track, rule 23. When you're ready to begin game one, extract card 13 from the index, place this card in the archive without removing the sticker. Okay. So we got lots of rules to read. Yes. So we Isn't set this up- exciting viewers? <laughs> <laughs> we set up the general supply already. Uh, we set up the objective mat. Uh, those need to be shuffled and reveal three. And the progress token, we've already put that out. Uh, there's no guidepost in the first game. First player, we already determined, which is going to be Travis. We determined it by rolling the die. Right, on the card. The personal mm -hmm. supply, so place your uh, persona, your constructive building, your two workers, your 12 influence tokens all in front of you, and your victory point marker on zero. And each player starts with $4 for the first game only. As we all know, Colin is going to a new world, yet $4. <laughs> <Not $4. laughs> So, um, let me see. It says I need to explain rule 15. Yes, please. A player turn. 
On your turn, you must either place a worker or retrieve all of your workers. They can go on to any of these locations. Hmm. Um, so those are the only two things you can do. Uh, there's no difference between the large one and the small one. Except one is large and one is small. Right. Yep. When you place a worker, maybe later, you follow these steps in order. If you place a, pla a, a worker on a place that's occupied by another worker, then, like, if I was to place my worker here, I would return this worker to that person. Man, I'm going to get bumped a lot. Well, it could we be it could be yours or someone else's. It does not matter. That first player. The cost. Oh, yeah. You pay the cost that's on the left side. So if I went to the market over here, I'd have to pay a buck and one resource of any kind. If I went to the treasury, I'd have to pay one resource. Um, if you can't pay the cost, you can't put the worker there. And then you gain whatever's on the other side. So if I went to the treasury, I'd pay a resource and I'd gain a buck. If I went to the market, I'd pay these two and I'd gain one of these cards. Hmm. And it says you may gain all or part of the benefit. Coins and resources are finite. Okay, then it says to explain rule 17, which is the commons. So that's these five buildings right here and how they work. A few buildings were constructed in advance of your arrival. They are clustered in the middle of the village in an area called the commons. So for the Zeppelin, you have to pay three of your resource tokens, excuse me, uh, influence tokens right here, plus four resources of any kind. And when you do that, you get to construct a building in your charter and you get five victory points. Hmm. The charter stone, pay four bucks and two influence markers and to unlock a crate. So you'll see there's a crate on your card right here. Mm -hmm. um, so you have to have a crate in order to do that. And what's in crates? Uh, different things. That's actually like guiding us to like a card, I think. So like in the Let's index? See. Yeah. Okay. Um, the grandstand right here, pay one influence marker and, uh, oh, okay. You have to put the marker on an objective that you've completed. So those are the objectives up there. You would put the objective on the one that you have completed, and then you would gain whatever it says on there and five victory points. Hmm. The treasury, I already explained that, pay one resource to get a buck. And the market, pay, I already explained that one too. Now, uh, this is the one that's got this been errata. You can only gain a face up advancement. These face up, mm -hmm. you cannot gain a face down one. There'll be a stack of them here. You can go ahead and shuffle these and put them. Okay, next is the cloud port, number 22. That's this area up here in the cloud. Um, it says here, the Forever King expects your village to support the greater good of Green Gully by sending resources, money, and other valuables back to the Eternal City. The Cloud Pour, or any building with a hand as the benefit, allows a player to sell a variable amount of one commodity to the general supply. So the cost, you select any open space on the quota track to determine the type and quantity of the commodity, pay that amount to the general supply, placing one influence token on the corresponding space. The benefit gained the indicated benefit. For example, three victory points. Um, some of the spaces on the quota track include an additional bonus, one victory point, or one reputation. Mm. So the way that works is you're going to put your, you know, first of all, you have to put your worker on the cloud port, and the one that you spend is actually going to go up here somewhere. This is what you're spending, and this is how many. So like if I spent three resources, I would go to this spot and I would get a victory point. Plus I get these three victory points right here that it says. Sending money back to the king. No mm -hmm. taxation without representation. <laughs> yeah, that's... So that's how that works. And then if you place it on the boat, you get to add one to the reputation marker. Reputation track, excuse me. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then uh, let's see. The last one is reputation, 23. That's this right here. Despite your village's relative isolation, word travels fast. Players jockey to have the most influence tokens on the reputation track to earn an in-game benefit. The reputation icon is shown as a benefit to the quota and progress tracks, and it will be on several buildings. That's the boat the thing. Boat. Place an influence token on the track. For example, we started with four players, so it would start right here, and then it would continue on this direction. Um, out to sea, like going out to sea. <coughs> Where the reputation is. 
<laughs> Where it is. Yeah, exactly. Eternal glory awaits you at sea. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, <laughs> further tokens are placed in the next open space. A token can, if there's no open spaces, you can't place one. At the end of the game, the player with the highest number of tokens or players, uh, friends are always, uh, ties are always friendly in this game, so both players would gain the benefit. Or are they? Will gain this many points. First place, 10. Second place, 7. Fourth, third place, 4. If you didn't place any tokens there, you cannot earn any points. Mm. Okay. When you're ready to begin game one, extract card 13 from the index and place this in the archive. Thirteen. Thirteen. Who wants to read it? Jesse? Or next. An important part of game one is for each player to use the Charterstone building. This will let you unlock the crate shown on your constructed building card. Review the steps on Rule 19 the first time this happens in Game 1. Now begin the game. Set this card aside and refer to it the first time a player unlocks a crate. After the first crate is unlocked, extract card 14 from the index. Place this card in the archive without removing the sticker. At that time. At that time. Yes. So for now, we don't need this. <laughs> That's fine. All right. So I guess I have to do something now. Travis <laughs> first player, right? To do yeah. So yeah, I have play. to either place a worker. Does this come back to you? Yes, thank you. Um, or retrieve all your workers. Well, I feel like I'll place a worker. I think it's uh, a good idea. And since I don't... Oh, we need to reveal these. Go ahead and reveal didn't them. Didn't it tell us to do that? Um, let, me, let me think about... Oh, one corner. Is there Remember anywhere these. I can afford to do anything? <laughs> these... Yeah. Because it was peeled off of, yeah. that's why. Yeah, the stickers are hard to peel. Um, I can't really afford to do anything. So what are our make some objectives resources. over there that we can't see? <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, uh, yes. Uh, I have at least three influence tokens on the reputation track. Okay. Have at least one of each resource. Have at least six dollars. Well, that doesn't seem too uh, unattainable. So I can only place one worker on my turn, right? Right. Well, I guess I'll... Place it on the forest. Okay, so you get a wood. Yay! Well done. I have a resource. Look at all this lumber. Look at all this resource. Yay! <laughs> I got <laughs> four bucks and a wood. <laughs> I'm put my worker here in the field and get some wheat. Neat. Shocking. I'll put mine here in the cave and get a I see metal. a theme erupting here. Yeah, it's almost like it's kind of playing itself. I'm going to go to the... Mine. <laughs> he gets coal. Right. He's a cold-hearted cold. snake. See, I heard, I heard it was cold in there. So we're back to me. Seems so. I would like a pumpkin. Pumpkin. Thank you. You're welcome. Um. Now I have a pumpkin log. Yay. Pumpkin. Yeah. <laughs> it's very festive over there with the brown. It's a corn dog. I'll go pumpkin. to the clay pit. And get some clay. Someone's getting booted. I'm going to the treasury. Oh. I'm going to turn this in. Yep. You get a buck. Easy breezy beautiful. That was pretty treasury. easy. Um, so the market. Oh, I guess we need to go over the market cards too, huh? Let's find out what those are. Uh, that's a crate for two. This is a where... Whenever you use the whenever you use the market, you may gain one reputation. Uh, mm. Whenever you use the grandstand, you may gain a reputation. Whenever you advance the progress token, gain one victory point. And whenever mm. you use the treasury, you may regain one of your influence tokens from the general supply. Yeah, I didn't mention the progress uh, area over here. This is what is a timer to count down to the end of the game. It moves forward any time any one of these three things occurs. Opening a crate. Building a building, opening a crate, or uh, doing an objective. Um, this may seem bold, but I'm going to go for it. Going to the market. Market to market. Paying a dollar and my coal. I want that crate card. It seems like something nobody else is taking or going to have. So, so we reveal a new one, right? Uh, yes. Uh, so this dude, uh, whenever you place a token on the reputation track, gain a victory point. 
Uh, I have to retrieve my workers. I have zero strategy right now. Just same. same. Uh, I retrieve my workers. That's all I can do, right? If that's what you chose to do, yes. So I'm going to retrieve my workers as well. Me too. <laughs> um, yeah. So what an exciting round. <laughs> yeah. Um, this is the first game. It's supposed to teach you how to play. It's supposed <laughs> to be pretty simple. Yeah. I want to go to the uh, Melissa's camp. The cave. Camp cave. Yeah. What's it and give me? It gives you a metal. A. Oh. <clears throat> Yellow. Yellow. Hey, Tex. 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 Um, I would like to go get something. Um, what would I like to get? Stay out of my woods. I mean, let's just be crazy. I'm gonna go to the Charter Stone. Mm -hmm. Dun 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 dun. So I'm spending two of these and four dollars. So what's that thing say the first time somebody goes to the Charter Stone? Something, 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 something. <sighs> Review the steps on Rule 19 the first time this happens in Game 1. Okay, the cargo that arrived with you can only be unlocked when the time is right. Use a charter stone building or any building with the, the crate as a benefit to access the content in a crate on one of your constructed building cards. Cost, pay the indicated cost. Did that. Benefit, refer to the index guide printed on the index tuck box to determine the components to extract. Open it up. Reads like stereo instructions. Oh, it's a, oh, that's that chart on the inside. Oh. How about that? There was a chart on the inside. Mm. Should be on stone. Then it would be a chart. Okay, so mine is box number six. Where's that at? Crate. Is that it right here? Mm -hmm. right see? Crate right here. You see crate six? Crate six. This one. So is it gain 109 through 110, 314? Yep, so take those out. Okay, so one, one, one and nine, one ten. Gain the indicated victory points. Five victory points. Would you move yellow up to five, please? What? Thank you. One Unbalanced. Oh nine. Advance the so progress token. One oh nine. We're gonna have to gang up more text. One yeah. ten. <laughs> Eight text. One oh nine through one ten and three fourteen. Where's that? Three fourteen. Good stuff. Direction. Then place the constructed building in the archive. 314. There's a person. Yes. Okay. So That's this, it. I guess, goes into the archive. The persona. Many crates contain a new persona card. Place it in your charter chest to use later. So this will be for my use later. Stuffs. Suggestion. Unlock at your own pace. There's a lot of information to digest, so take your time. So I have two new, um, I guess these are buildings? Mm-hmm. Because they're stickers. A granary and a grain market. But how do I build them? Does this move you go to the place I just you moved go, it. Uh, you go to the Thank place you. where you build buildings. Oh, this one? Yeah. How about that? Interesting. Well, that's it for me. I think that's enough. Oh, and then that card that you were just reading, it said to do something with it when we finish? Yes, yes, yes. Um, after the first crate is unlocked, extract card 14 from the index. Place this card in the archive without removing the sticker. 14, it says rule 18, constructing a building. Okay. Travis, you want to read it? <clears throat> I'd love to. Constructing a building, Rule 18. Because of their mobility and flexibility, Zeppelins are the standard way of constructing buildings in Green Gully. Oh, everyone knows that. You may place a worker on the Zeppelin to construct a building on an empty plot in your charter using a building card from your personal supply. Four rules here. One, cost. Pay three influence tokens plus the four resources shown on the upper left of a building card. Two, the benefit. Remove the building sticker and permanently affix it to an empty plot in your charter. Gain five victory points and advance the progress token. Three, constructed building card. If the constructed building card shows a crate, place it face up in your personal supply. Otherwise, it goes to the archive. Four, end of campaign value. The number shown below the building, the question mark, 
is its victory point value at the end of the campaign. Extract card 15 from the index. Persona cards, rule five. You're discovering that you have a variety of skills that you don't remember learning. The Forever King happen. seems to be happy each time you use a different persona. All persona cards, except the original personas, give each player a special ability. During setup, <coughs> you may select any persona from your charter chest. Keep uh. it face up. You may use its ability throughout the game. Each marked persona is worth five to seven victory points at the end of the campaign. You will be told to mark your selected persona at the end of the game if you used it. Right here. Hmm. The little arrow. You'll fill it in if you use it. Uh. If you unlock a persona card during a game, place it in your charter chest even if it doesn't look like your original persona. You can't use it this game. Keep all persona cards from game to game. Extract card 16 from the index. Charter stone, a game of stickers. It is. It's the first game. We've never played any game with Your stickers. Those are always bad. Continue playing until the progress token advances to the hourglass space. Finish the round so all players have taken the same number of turns. Remember that if you run out of influence tokens during the game, you must advance the progress token at the beginning of your turn. Players will carry over all components in their personal supply from game one to game two. Place this card at the bottom right of the game board on the guidepost slot. Then refer to the next paragraph when the final turn is taken in game one. After game one, extract card 17 from the index. Place this card in the archive without removing the sticker. Sweet. So we're just going here. When the game, when we get to the end of the last turn, we'll, we'll do, do some that. more stuff. Yeah. All right. So my go. I'm going to stick this little dude. I think I'm not going to that cloud port. Is that available to me right now, or do mm -hmm. I need? Yeah. yeah. Just remember, I just you got to meet the quotas. Oh, wait, so I, I don't have the quotas well, yet. For example, you could use one good to put your thing there. Oh, but that wouldn't There's give me anything here. yet. Yeah. So <laughs> you wouldn't, wait. well, you would still get what it says right here. Which is victory points and... Which you give victory points and something more. Yeah, maybe I should wait. Maybe I'll get some... I mean, you always instead. have the money. But yeah. remember what the thing said. Everybody's going to want to do that charter stone action. Look how much stuff he got. Mm. I'm just going to go to the clay pit. Some, which one is this one? No, yeah. Welcome to the wonderful Clay Pit. Yeah, this. Hosted by Clay Pit. Clay Pit himself. <laughs> That's right. One of the mine. <clears throat> I would like some wheat, please. Wheat. There you go. Thank you. That's funny, because I want wood. Get out of my forest! <laughs> and this little dude's going to go up here and get a pumpkin. Paying this uh, thing to get money. There you are, sir. Uh, can I have my other green guy back, please? Sure. <laughs> oh no, tall guy! <laughs> tall guy. Ronald, I assume you're taking your people back. Yep. Melissa, I assume you're taking your people back. Yep. Oh, Jesse, I assume you're back. taking your people back. Yep, yep. Yeah, yeah. That was the wrong person, sorry. Oh, <laughs> um, now we're having fun. <laughs> I would like to visit. The mine. Mines of Moria. Thank you. I'm going to visit the pumpkin patch. I'm visiting the treasury. How's she going for that gold? There you go. She How much money you got there? Six bucks. Oh, I, I don't have any gold. bucks. I have to yeah. Remember, she has oh, to go to the go. grandstand to do that. Uh, Yield grandstand. Charger stone. Take two influence markers into the general supply. Four dollars. Four dollars. That makes me holla. And then he's a chest. Which chest are you opening? Opening. Mm, which one? So many choices. Two or four. I want to see what's in chest two. Chest two? Or sorry, crate two. Crate, crate two. two. Right. Yeah. Hashtag not sponsored by Crate and Barrel. 
Great Drove two has Everybody was starting to think we were. <laughs> 43 through 44. 4, 2, 3 through 4, 4. Uh... <laughs> oh, wait, wait. It's getting stuck. It's like we all put our people, and no one's bumped anyone yet. No. Why would you? Because it actually gives that person a benefit. I yeah, I know. That I was like, no I'm, one's going for specific like, you're resources like, yet, except for like you. Like you're so. like, I'm gonna get bumped. Here's 43. Well, I was hoping to help get you to get bumped. Yeah. Here's 44. Mm-hmm. Create two, 43, 4, 2, 33. 2, 33. And you're gonna get five victory points there. So these are crates as well, huh? Yep. Oh, you boy. get a minor. 49er. So he's he's just in your box for later. Okay. Can he not oh, the next game? Is that That's it? right, yeah. Hmm. Um, and you also get five victory points. I like five victory points. And we're going to proceed this forward, which it just hit something. It hit the boat. Yep. You get some reputation. Boat. But no one's up there. Gain one reputation. For who? I like that. Everyone? The person that did it. Oh. What does the little circle thing mean? Uh, that does not mean anything in the first game. <coughs> okay. It will mean income at a future game. Then I'm happy I did. So Ronald and Jesse are off to an early lead, exactly as I anticipated. Oh, <laughs> um, well, we just did the Charter Zone. I would like to visit Clay Pit. You can go to Charter Zone right yeah, now and join us. I could, but I'd like to visit Clay Pit. Okay, here you go. Thank you. Oh, look! Yeah. Shh. What? I mean, you can't... Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to the cave. I still need another resource to go there and to spend to actually be able to do the thing. Right, Ronald? You would assume that. To go here, I'd have to spend a resource. No, no, you have to spend one of your bees. Oh. Not a resource. I'm going to the grandstand. So I spend this. Yep. It goes up mm-hmm. there. And <clears throat> the six money one. So put your... Actually, you're going to put your marker. Uh, so this goes on the six money. Ta-da! I think that's how that works. I'm just going to check. I believe so. I'm going to the forest first. Get out of my words! So I just show that I have the six money. I don't actually have to spend it to get the thing, or no, you just have to have it. And then it says, make sure you gain the indicated victory points. So I get five victory points. Yep. For and I'm trailing behind. Just for one second. And then this needs to be proceeded because you've completed an objective. And remember, each person can only complete each objective one time. So you can't do that one again. Okay. Mm. Good. Now I can start spending this money. Uh, whose turn is it? Jesse's. Mine. Oh, Jesse. Put, just I need my guys back. Some place. Okay. 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 I'm gonna take my guys back too. Me too. Me too. All right. I'm going to the Probably grandstand. Yeah, because we're going to start wanting to go to the same place someone else is and bumping them. So I have one of every resource. Yeah, so put your... Mm -hmm, Ta -da. Like that, exactly. And now you get five points. Ta -da. And Ta -da. this moves forward. Ta -da. Is there anything on that spot? Uh, no. Nothing? Mm -hmm. How disappointing. Ronald. Yes, that's me. Your turn. Um, I need to go here to the mine. The mine. I'm going to say it every time, folks. <laughs> I'm All going right. to go hmm, to the cave. Let's head up the old, uh, oh boy, play pit. Getting them, digging in my own stash. Um, let's go ahead and go to the treasury. Eh, eh. Cool. I'll spend uh, clay to get a buck. I'm going to go to the grandstand. <gasps> oh, yay. Thank you. I needed him back. <laughs> You're welcome. The balance is broken. Yes. I'm putting this here to get five victory points for yellow, please. And if you could advance that. Thank you. Mm. My turn? Mm-hmm. I think I'm going to go to this charger stone. Because I have four bucks. One, two, three, four. And two of these go up there. All right. So let's go there. 
four bucks, mm -hmm. two of those, and now I get to open crate five. If you could advance blue five victory points, please. Mm -hmm. And also we're going to advance this, which means blue is going to get to come here on the reputation track. Mm -hmm. Good timing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, crate five. So I get crate five, 88 through 89, and is that 303? These numbers are so tiny. Oh, to get some meaning glasses. Uh, Seventh Ooh. Continent actually comes with a magnifying glass in the game. Oh, Jesus. Because wow. there's like cards you can like look for stuff <laughs> on. Uh, we didn't know oh. it when we played the first time. I was like, what's this thing, do you think? Like unlock? Like where you're looking for numbers? Yeah, exactly. And it's like, oh, it's a, it's actually a... Do these objectives ever get cleared out? I see we have a deck to draw from. Like what? Yeah, um, I don't know how, though. 88. Uh, we don't know how that happens yet, it's, but it's every game is shuffled and they come out, so there could be different ones next time you play. Hmm, the suspense. Okay. Five, eight, eight, nine, uh, where's my little person? 303. No, that's I'm going to the field. Three, okay. oh, three. There's my person. All right. Well, Got it. Now, where does this card go, though? Crazy. That goes into the archives. And this is going to go into your personal box, so I'll just set it over no, here for you, Melissa. So and then I have a refinery and an iron market. Nice. Build. Cute. Uh, so Jesse went to the field. Um, can I bump my own guy out of the treasury? Yep, sure can. Bump him. And I want to spend this mine money, this coal, to get another buck. Um, Let's see what your game is. <laughs> Yeah, only five turns or no you're there already yeah oh he's gonna go to the other one now yeah um okay that's i fine. am that's fine going to take my people back because I, I have no i people. have no idea what i'll be doing after that though no, so I'll take my people back charge them bro. yeah that's exactly it there you go cool well you're placing I have, the work. I have all of this to, to my... Thanks to me. So I'm going to the grandstand. Yes, Ronald really helped Get me. Get your five points. I would like to return this lumber. Or no, no, no. That's Sorry, that's one of these. Um, to go here, I have six dollars. Okay, and so you, you got five that. points. This advances, please. Oh, I bet that reverses turn order. No, yeah, it's income. As I said earlier. Sorry. Uh, no problem. That's okay. I'm forgettable. Uh, your turn. Um, I need to go to um So these are the things we need to build. The stuff on this side or the stuff up here? You need all, all of it. All of it. So four things. Yeah. Okay. All right. Here, the field to get grain. Going to the mine. This coal. Hmm. Direction would I like to go? I'm going to the mine. Get out of here. Hey, thank you. Yeah, that really helps <laughs> other players. Yeah. I would like my people back. <laughs> thank you. You're welcome. Eventually it'll happen. I need like one of those like uh, crap table hooks. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to the Zeppelin. Zeppelin. The Zeppelin. Zeppelin. Yeah. Every day they see me Zeppelin. Yeah. Is it red or is it lead? Does it serve pizza or music? <laughs> okay, so we already it's talked about this. Local. I have to pay the three influence tokens and the four resources that are shown on the card. So it shows four resources here, but it's the same resources that are on my Correct. card. Indeed. Um, so let me do all of that. <coughs> so I'm going to pay two wheats. I'll trade you for sheep. And a wood and a coal, is that what that is? <laughs> to build the grain market. Looks like my Look iron market, but for grain. Mm -hmm. I have a coal market over here. And when I do that, I get five victory points. Okay. And you we jump fast in this, this game, don't you? By five. Here. And uh, did I? No, I did not. Three of these. Mm. So 
So once you're out of that, you're done for the game, huh? Once you don't have any of these left, every time it comes back around to your turn, you advance this. Yeah. To so rush it forces, to it forces end. game in, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. But you can still do actions that don't require these. Oh. But you're also advancing that. Yeah. That's right. It becomes end game very well, quick. Turn. I'm going here to the cave. Get you some metal. Metal, metal. Going back to the mine. Get out of here, little guy. Uh, oh. Charter stone! Oh, Welcome to the charter stone. I'll spend these two things. And what's it want for? Four dollars. Here's four dollars. Which crate is open? Uh, three, please. Crate three. And I'll get five points. Victory points. 58, 59, 258. 58, 59, 258. All right, right on the card. Let's see what you're going to do. And so this is going to go into the archive. The archive. Crate three, 58, 59. I am keeping these in order in case anyone is curious. The main purpose of it is if you play you the game again. The game. Yeah. Yeah. 59, 58, 59, and 2, 258. I'm excited. It's a lumber mill and a wood market. And we need to, did we advance this already? No, no. It's Let's a carpenter. It's nothing. Again, how exciting. There you go. And she goes into my green box, right? Yeah. For next Look how time. cute she is. We'll see you next game. Uh, She's next. draw on the card. To next. write on the card. Yes. Yeah. Next game. Okay, I'm taking my people back. I'm building. Oh, open that's green. Open. Oh, that's right. Just one. All right. So it's going to cost you three dollars. And you look like you only have uh -oh. $2. Oh, Sweet. no. I'm sorry. It doesn't cost any dollars. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't cost It costs no, you so... three of those. Oh, these uh, things. Yeah, yeah, those things. Sorry. And then your four resources. Three of these. And then the four resources. Pumpkin, coal, two. The metals. I'm making an iron market. So I get five right. victory points. Yep. And then this moves up. And it's mm -hmm. on a boat. So yep. So just... Yep. Just go there. Yep. Nice. All right, and then this she gets built. To, she's one away from this. Yeah, no. I was trying to time that out, but I messed up way back. But that's okay. I'll I can't think that far ahead. <laughs> right. <laughs> I am going to place here. What's the other thing? I'm just. Uh... I can't see the little lines. There aren't enough lights in here. <laughs> Well, <laughs> you folks at home can't see it, but we're <laughs> surrounded by yeah. bright lights. All right, so where does this go? Back and still in front, in front of you, because you could open up that crate and get some more stuff. Oh, okay, cool. All right, I'm going back to the mine. I'm just gonna live in there. I think you're obsessed. <laughs> I'm gonna so get too. some uh, wood out of my forest, please. Yeah. Thank you. And I'm going to go. To the iron market, and pay an iron and get two bucks. I must call my people back. Go back to the man. Calling my people home. I like how fast this moves. At least at this stage. Uh, now I'm gonna go to the field and get some wheat. I am going to get. Uh, Mr. Clay Pit, can I visit your Clay Pit? I'm sorry, he's out at the mine okay. at the moment. <laughs> uh, I would like to go to the Zeppelin. <clears throat> Pay three of my guys. Yep. And these four resources. Yep. <clears throat> so to build my wood market. Oh, cool. An iron market, it worked out nice. A grain market and a wood market. He's going to get five victory points. What were you saying it. about early leads? I was going to say, I'm going to enjoy this brief moment of uh, being in five leads. Good, well done. And you have a lot of coal. Yeah. <laughs> Don't put pressure on me. During Pandemic Legacy Season 2, they did that to me every time I put a sticker on the board. Don't mess yeah. up. Every time. No, we just we stopped letting Ronald draw lines on the board. Uh, yeah. He intended to black out text, and we couldn't play the game anymore, so we had to buy a second copy. That's not true. We had to buy three copies. Yeah, we, uh, <laughs> so did somebody give me my points and yes. advance the thing? Yes. Did anything happen? Nope. 
Once again. This is the third time I've Take gone up back. on this. You can see the things coming. <laughs> yeah, I know. I was just helpful. Melissa? I will go to the woods. And wood. Yeah, they're my people. Um, you want to gather? Oh, who's in my market? Oh, wait, what's the new building that Melissa built? An iron market. You can sell an iron for two bucks. I mean, I have. Oh, you have a pumpkin. Uh, we do not accept pumpkins. I want to. I want to go to the treasury that. and pay a pumpkin to get a buck. I'm going to the grain market to sell a grain for one buck and one of these. Mm, that's a little different than the other markets. This mm, one, it's the same one as this one. Oh, okay. Yeah. I these, must uh, these don't. These call are two, my two people bucks. back. Let's kick out this little green guy. Thank you. If you like that. And let's build something. Let's build three the, of uh, your markers. Three of my markers. Come on here. I'm building a hoist house for two coals. A hoist house? Here's these things. I assume if I and don't build this this game, it stays in my box and I can potentially build it next game. I think so. Okay. Yeah, a hoist house. I see we're house. getting close to the end. What do you get on a hoist house? Well, anybody can do it, not just me. Uh, wait, are There's you supposed a, to put that there? Yeah, yes. clay pit. Why don't you keep it in your charter? I don't think you can put it in someone me. else's charter. But it came from this symbol. Oh. Yeah, I don't know what that means. How did so, you get that? From the because crate? Because I grabbed up the crate from the other thing. Uh, oh, in your charter. Oh, oh so. mine's going to fill up really fast then. Because <laughs> I'm playing like two people. Okay, we're mixing coals and clays here. So now you also get to move five victory points, mm -hmm. and this moves forward as well. Cool. Um, I'm just going to come here and get a wood. Um... I'm going to... What does that say? Oh, that's interesting. So you run one of these to get stuff? That's weird. Yep. Can I go here and get a wheat? I'm going here to the wood market. Pay this wood. Oh, she might. And then I get a coin and this up here, the boats. Yeah, so she does that now, huh? No, oh, have no, to go she to the has to go to the grandstand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The old grandstand. All right, I gotta think about my future here. Um, oh. and screw my future. I'm gonna, lose <laughs> I'm gonna build a, this thing. Home market opening up in the clay pit. <laughs> For some reason. Five victory points. This moves up one. Calling my people home. FYI. I'm calling my people home too. I'm going to the grandstand. I thought you might. Yeah, shock. So this goes over there. And that means I get five points for the mm -hmm. grandstand and this moves up and it's another boat so this goes up there damn yep combo power all right melissa what were you saying about you weren't gonna get to what was that thing you said earlier <laughs> yeah. i'm gonna go to the hoist house so this goes up here mm -hmm. and a dollar and a cold piece uh treasury I'll take a wood i'll take a dollar Thank you. <coughs> I'm going to the grain market. Get my grain. And get a buck and a boat. All right. Calling my people. Call back. 
Um, I would like to go to the Charter Stone <laughs> and pay two of these <clears throat> and four bucks to open my box. Oh, 24. 24. So what happens to this? It's going to go in there. Arca. All right. So crate oh, 24. To to if it's oh, one this, that you already opened. Yeah, it is. This has something. So that's no, it goes the in the archive. archive. Oh, the archive. The this one has and something only. different to it. Like it has a... So yeah, so you see there's a bunch of different 24. headers here. So in crate 24, there's a rules read second 29. Is that what it is? Okay. Since there are multiple I'm taking ways my to five unlock points. this. Mm -hmm. Game one at random is it? So I just... There's another copy of this inside the rule book. It's a bigger yeah, one. I not read this. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I knew so, it was going to have to be Yeah, these are some tiny So what number was it? 24. 24. So just tell me when I need to get out. Here. 67 okay. and 276. 67. Here's 67. How exciting. What? <clears throat> 276. Okay, and the, you constructed this that's 274. Nine. Wait, this is 276. Oh, what did what number did you, you open up? 24. 24, 276. Yeah, that's okay. right. There it is then. And then it says read second rule number 29. Oh, so do I? Is that in here? 29? I guess. Look and see. Yep, here it is. Rule 18. Constructing it. I guess this replaces this. I mean, I broke the game. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's a little bit different now. The rules for constructing a building. You're welcome. Uh, fix the building sticker in your charter. It can can be placed on an empty slot or any building with no tokens on it, but not a basic resource building. Gain victory points and accept, advance the progress token. I have no idea what you just said. You can put your buildings on top of other buildings oh, okay. that you already built. If there's nobody there. Mm. And it's not as a basic resource. It's not basic, so like not So like I could replace or... my wood market with this if I were so inclined. Now, this new rule, I don't know if I'm supposed to cover up the old one with it. Does anybody know? Is anybody even watching? <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Anyone alive out there? If it's the same rule number, <clears throat> I imagine so. I would imagine so. Why don't you look it up? Do you have the FAQs pulled up on your phone? Um, can you? It says there are multiple ways to unlock this. Mm -hmm. That's set on here. Because it's like a little asterisk, and then there are multiple ways to unlock this, and then like. That's for a different symbol there. Yeah. We haven't got that symbol yeah. yet. If you construct a building on top of another building, only the victory points shown on the newer building count at the end of the campaign. Okay. And it also says here now, pay three influence tokens plus the four resources shown on the upper left of the building card unless an alternate cost is shown on the board. Fix the building sticker in your charter. It can be placed on an empty plot or any building with no tokens on it, but not a basic resource building. So you can't build on top of your basic one, right. the one that's is basic, but Got you it. can build on top of this if you right. want it. Got I it. mean, you don't need to at this point. Got it. So I'm going to guess this covers this one up. It's number 18. This is also number 18. Okie dokie. Sure. Why don't you take a picture of that in case we ever need to reference it again? <laughs> well, I think these rules replace it. Okay. You can take a picture of it. Sure. I would love to. Technology. Yeah. <laughs> so it is all on camera. Right now. Who just did this? I just green. Yeah. yeah the so opening. this needs to move forward, and he also gets five points. I got my five. Okay. So the paint game's gonna end pretty suddenly. Yeah, right very soon. <laughs> Remember, everyone gets an equal number of turns. I don't know where you want to keep oh. that, maybe. So, text. 
Yeah. Page. Well, Jesus. he's Tex. I'm Ronald. <laughs> Who are you? Like McDonald? Exactly like McDonald. Thank you. Is money worth anything at the end of the game? Are resources worth anything at the end of the game? Um, don't know any of the answers to those questions. Okay. We'll find out soon. Is I don't we... think so. I don't have any reputation. Um, I'm going up there. Cloudport? So that thing. Yeah. Cool. No, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go... Oh, it doesn't really do any good to take these now because I won't be able to keep it for the next game. Is that true? These things. Oh. I, I don't, took one. I don't think I'll be able to keep them for the next game. They got archived. Well, you opened it and got all kinds of stuff out of it and benefits, so. Everybody's like, could you hurry up, just make a move? Yes. So I'm trying to think. Building? Those two things? Um, I got this guy, and that's it. You got a oh, we got, well, a well, we got the, oh, yeah, I got a person to put in my thing, and we got a new rule. That's right. So, so in other... case you get crowded, you can now replace a building. So you have two people in there, huh? Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay, I am going to the cloud portal. I'll put in uh, three bucks. Victory point or boat? A uh, boat. Still competing for that boat. Go here. That's his third. And I get three victory points. Victory points. <coughs> Finally, something that's not a multiple of five. That might be enough. Now we're spread out. Melissa. I'm going to go. You ever watch Bob's Burgers? No. Yeah. I do. Mm -hmm. Remember the, like, I think it was the second or third episode where they had the cow that he brought out in front of the guy's restaurant. It was like, You're going way back. with like a blonde <laughs> wig on. The cow's name was Moo Lissa. Moo Lissa? Uh huh. <laughs> it's not on Netflix anymore, I don't think. It's um, on Hulu. Hulu, yeah. 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 Moo Lissa. He's like, like a dollar. It's not even a female cow. Cool. Yeah, it is. People Look at that utter. <laughs> That's not an utter. I called my people home. I love H. John Joe Benjamin. I'm going to call my people home. For sure. Yeah. You know he doesn't read the scripts beforehand? <laughs> wow. It's a choice. It's a choice. For Bob's Burgers, they have a read-through, so he's forced to read it just once beforehand, but he likes to be fresh. It's a choice. I mean, it's animated. What do you want, you know? <laughs> yeah. You're sell this for $2? Lumber, please. Thank you. I'm going to the grandstand. Thought you might. Put this here. I get five points. And this moves forward. We are one step away from the Call end of the game. I'm going to go here. Pay this lumber that I just got. I get a coin, and I get to put a boat out. <laughs> I'm, on, I'm on the rep. I have. I exist. Congrats. There's your coin. Thank you. I'm excited. Because <laughs> you want to name stuff? Yeah. <laughs> I want to be able to name some stuff. That'd be so much fun. Uh, well, then be sure Travis to lose. Travis will not be able to do it. That's fine. We get to pick what's named Travis's area because he has to defer out of humility. Out of humility. Oh. Yes, that would be so awful. Yes. <laughs> oh, no, please. I'll take wheat. Uh, I'll take pumpkin. So if I end the game right now, you guys don't get any more turns, huh? Correct. Nope. We're done. I don't know if there's a way I can do that. That's the only problem. Yeah, I don't know how I'm, it would take oh, me like five I'm turns. So I could do I could do it two different ways now. Because you have to have all the resources for that middle card, huh? Yeah. You just need two more. Oh, what the heck. I'm going to open a crate. Charter's been on. And that'll be the game. Yeah, yep. that will be That's the game. This will be the last round to turn of the game. So two of those things, $4, four dollars, four bucks. At least I was way too far away to get the middle. Uh, five points, which is really there. And um, opening up um, 
Let's check out, based on what I've seen here, I don't know what the next tip in the coal is. So let's open up number 15. Crate 15! All right, so crate 15. Okay. Uh oh, there's another Love rule to. now. There's berries? What is this thing? Here, you want me to look at it? Yeah, I'm going to look at it. What is it? Crate this. number what? 15. Crate 15. Okay, first let's start with gain 45 and 235. Okay, it doesn't look big enough. I don't, right, this is just uh, what could you look in the box and find tuck box number IV, little little letters four? Yes, the one that tore. Thanks, cool stuff. Ooh, ouch. <laughs> My personal call out. What if they're watching? Well. Send us free stuff to compensate. <laughs> So that's yeah, this, this game was, was beat up when it was sent to me. Cool stuff. You can see this this little this little thing right here. Yeah, look at that. It's out of focus, but it's okay. 235. You said it was always gonna be in focus. You lied. Does go to him. Not not for important stuff. You got a medium. Got a medium uh, that goes into your tuck box for you next have like time. a a coal medium like. Okay, and then we need uh, number 33 and 34, but read 34 first and what then 33. The, uh, 33. Mm -hmm. 34 goes There's first. Weird text on this. I like the little box. 34? Yep. Just things I don't understand. Yet. Okay, and then uh, 234. 234. That might actually clarify some of this. Which yeah, just... probably. 234. A ghost? A ghost? Okay. I don't know the order to what we're supposed to do all this stuff in. <laughs> Mind blown! Because it says read second. I did not expect Ooh. this game to take that turn. <laughs> okay. Ghosts. Here we go. What? Due to the village's rapid expansion, extra help is needed. People you are recruit already dying. some minions <laughs> from uh, the area. Whenever uh, a new type of minion is unlocked, the unlocking the player gains saying. one of those minions. Unclaimed minions of that type are kept on their reference card in the general supply. General supply. Oh, is this the reference card? I have no idea. Um, a minion is a type of worker that you may place only on occupied, unoccupied buildings in your charter. All cards that refer to workers apply to both regular workers and minions. Any player may place a regular worker on a building occupied by a minion. Unlike other workers, minions cannot be bumped. They stay on your buildings until you choose to retrieve all your workers. All minions you control on and off the board are considered to be in your personal supply. So can you stick this in under where it says rule 16? I would love to be open this. Then it says How do you get them minion quota. I think we do. Affix this sticker, which has five columns instead of six, to the bottom of the quota track on the game board, then place this card in the archive. Neat. It goes right here. Oh, okay. So Jesse, I don't know if you want to do that. And then here's the minion. Whenever you place a ghost or an opponent uses your ghost's building, you may gain one reputation. I don't know what to do with this. This is the stuff I had a peek of. I saw those whenever the box was torn to shit. Thanks. What, what was on your card over there that was like, hmm? Something about ghosts. Oh. So how do we get minions? Whenever I retrieve workers, gain two victory points if I retrieve at least two ghosts. Whatever it said on that rules, number 16. <coughs> Minion quota. The unlocking player gains one of those minions. Oh, when you unlock a crate? I guess this is the reference card. So the ghosts need to go there. Huh? Maybe we should reference the ghost protocol. Dun, 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 dun. Today's episode is brought to you by Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol. Now available on Blu ray, DVD, well, and streaming. Seems odd. Dun, dun, I probably dun, did that dun, wrong. Dun, 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 dun. I was going by one end, but it doesn't actually line up, does it? Oh, no. I couldn't see. Send us more stickers. Well, the thing is, like, where the hell does this go? I guess it just doesn't go as far as the rest of them. Wait, wait, wait. Don't that lines up right? right with the other stuff. Just go right over it, huh? Yeah, it just doesn't have a last thing. That's what it is. That makes more sense. I started on the other end. 
So then you gain. The clouds make sense yes. too. Yes. I'm a ghost. That's, That's not quite what it looks like, but I'm not going to say what it looks like. A minion is a type of worker you may place only on unoccupied buildings in your charter. Right, I got that part. But I want, I want a ghost. Ooh, I have a haunted house. I want ghosts and minions. <laughs> that is the weirdest fart I've ever heard. <laughs> it's a ghostly fart. I don't know how to gain these. <clears throat> yeah. Here, haunted house. What? Oh. <laughs> Too cold. So you've got push. one, but the point it doesn't it doesn't matter now it's because not, it's the end of the game. So the, 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 the game has just ended. That. Thanks, Jesse. So we did thirty three, we did thirty four, two thirty four, and we did tuck box four. Mm -hmm. These can all go back in tuck box in the box or whatever. That, we don't need them now. Yeah. Those are the other kinds of minions that will be unlocked. Oh, later. cool. Something to look forward to later. Yay. Okay, so the other thing we have going on is that. We need to now it's evaluate in this. Uh, after game one, extract card 17 from the index. Uh, place this card in the archive without removing the sticker. So here we go. Thank you. Let's, don't take these back yet. I don't know no, if, no, no, if just, they matter they, they for were, something. They were getting 17, out. end of game. All right, rule 26. When the progress token advances to the that space, finish the current round. We did. Then the game ends. In game scoring, in player order, Gain victory points for reputation and cards with the hourglass symbol on them. We don't have any of those, I don't think. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. Uh, reputation? That's there. this. Yeah. Okay, so let's do that now. So Melissa is our leader, so she's going to get 10 points. Yay. Putting her at 30. Then I'm second, so I'm going to get 7 points. And you're at 30. And then green and red tied Five. each other, so you both get four, four points. We both get it. Yeah, ties are friendly. Nice. All ties are friendly in this game. Mm. Glory. Each player gains glory. Okay, so you have your box here. It's got glory on the back. <clears throat> um, based on their position on the victory point track. Extract card 18 from the index and read before continuing on. So you see, oh, here is where one, stars. here is two, no. 30 is three. Just show it. No. <laughs> Glory is your primary measure of success <coughs> in your quest for the Forever King to make you the leader of the village. At the end of the game, gain one glory per 10 victory points you earned that game. Mark those stars in your chart on your charter chest. You choose which stars to fill in. At the beginning of each game, every completed row of glory grants you the listed bonus. Mm. So you can get points, you can get, you know. Whatever. Some of the things are not applicable yet. We don't have them. But you can see there's also a minion on there. So, like, I have 29 points, so I get to fill in two stars? That's right. Hmm. Anywhere on this box that I want? Yes. Okay. But when you fill in a whole entire line, you're going to get to start with that Got every it. game. So, Melissa, you and I get to fill in three. Yay! Good for you. Hmm. Where do I put my spread it out or all three in one? Hmm. Okay, can you stick this one in under rule 28? Let's <coughs> make sure it's not under story 28. Make sure to point that out that there's two different things. Rule, rule, rule 28. Okay, winners. The player with the most victory, player or players with the most victory points this game, mark their charter chest. So that's me and Melissa. Melissa, you we and I tie. We score for buildings in our thing? Only at the very end of the entire campaign. Oh, the campaign. So Whoa, on boop. this side, Melissa? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm putting my three stars. I'm so close to victory. I'm trying to make mm. them exact, but it's not. That's okay, Jesse. You and I get to name everything. That's right. <laughs> All right. I got my three stars. I think Ronald sucks should be the so name of a village. At least four villages. Yes, we should have Ronald <laughs> sucks with an X. So now Ronald sucks with like a K Z. So I'm like this. <laughs> yes, because you won. Okay, cool. Non-winners, name your charter. Write it on the board. 
Name our own charter. Yep. Also, as a show of humility, each winning charter and inactive charter must now be named by the non-winners. Players will name the village later. So we name our the village. So Jesse, you so you two get to name this your own place. This is the place. village, I guess. Like, oh, that yes. Village. Don't don't put anything there. So we get to name our own charters and everything else. You guys, you guys get to name all six of these things. Yes. Now gather, gather all your player pieces. You will carry over all components in your personal supply from game one to game two, including coins, resources, cards, etc. Oh wow. Oh, so I get to keep all this? Yes. That's good to know. We don't have to put it in our box because we're going to just leave this set up. <clears throat> but if we were going to tuck this away, we would put it all away. Now extract card 19 from the index. Okay. Hmm. What are these names going to be? I want to do a sticker again. 19. Capacity. This is rule 26. All the possibilities. Okay. There's already a rule 26, so I assume I replace it. Ah, uh, Yes. Capacity. At the end of games 2 through 12, your capacity will determine the number of components in your personal supply that you may keep. Discard everything else except persona cards and player pieces to the general supply. Your charter chest shows your current capacity. You start the campaign with one in each category. It's right here. <coughs> so your box can hold one good, one money, one card, and one minion. Oh, so we can't... Hold, hold on, that's only games 2 through 12. Um, be prepared to only keep one of each after game two. There will be various ways to increase your capacity throughout the game. <clears throat> Resource tokens, coins, advancement cards, must I be different types, that. and minions. Would have been incentive for me to just collect until the end. Well, now you know. Now I know. They didn't tell you on purpose. I know, I know. Extract card 20. Because I thought about that, actually. Extract card 20. Uh, yeah, I thought, a sticker. I because I was going last. So. 20. Yeah. Why, don't, why don't you read it? Rule 27. The wise forever king offers guideposts to steer the village towards success. He still gives players the freedom to choose their path, even if their choice displeases him. Guideposts offer a goal for any number of players to achieve. The current guidepost is kept face up on the board and is processed at the, is processed at the end of the game. Some guideposts have temporary rules for the current game. At the end of the game, any player or players who achieve the guidepost gain one glory. Among those players, the player with the most influence tokens in their personal supply reveals the options on the guidepost. Roll the charter stone to break further ties. That player chooses one of the options and opens the corresponding crate. And then there's a happy king, angry king. Okay, so this is another new rule about these goals that are going to be in the game. And the people who um, who do the goal are going to get glory. And those people are, uh, the person with the most influence tokens in their personal supply still left over gets to reveal the options by rolling the, the die. And opening a crate. Extract card 400, your first guidepost from the index, and read the exposed text. If you're ready to play game two now, reset the board and mats of tokens and cards, then return to setup. Stop! Leave this card at the front of the index for the entire campaign. Wow. There's a search card! So this is how many cards we've got in the archive from the first game. Yeah, quite a few. Yeah, it's, it's just, I expect that will start so getting smaller. You can show them to your close-up camera. Yeah, yeah, so so yeah, look at this close-up camera. Yeah, that's so that's too lot. many. Here, there's another one for you. And now we've added another! <laughs> so you're going to need a wealth of coins and resources to build the village, but be careful. Everything in excess of your capacity must be returned to the general supply at the end of the game. Keep this card face up at the end of game two before any game end steps. Follow the guidepost rules to award glory and reveal the following options. So this actually has a scratch off on it Ooh. right here. We're very familiar with those. So we'll need a coin for game two. Okay. Maybe a quarter and maybe a paper towel. Yeah. <laughs> these are so messy. Um, so this will go here for game two. Especially on these tables. It's hard to pick up all that stuff. Exactly. <laughs> so Thanks, that's game it for designers. game one. What did you guys think about it? Did you have fun? Yeah, I thought At it first was I was like, are we just gonna keep doing the same things? Yeah, but like it, it picked up. It picked up pretty quick. I liked the pace. The pace was quick. 
Yeah. Which I assume it'll slow down as we add more complexity to it, but... I think game two will show its complexity. I mean, there's ghosts possibly now, yeah. and like, like how we are just, ghosts a resource? This felt like a tutorial yeah. almost, because I'm yeah. sure that's what yeah. it is. We just have to start mm -hmm. getting things opened up, because the more things that started popping up, then you have more reason to bump someone out of a place. At first, it's like, well, I don't really need to bump well, anyone. Bumping's yeah. only beneficial to somebody, the other player. I'm wondering where the conflict's going to come in, if any. Yeah. The only there's time will so tell. Many things you can get, maybe. <laughs> What do you guys think about it? Uh, let us know in the comments below. If you're watching this after the fact, make sure you comment below and tell us what you thought. Um, follow along with us on our adventures. We're going to be live streaming the rest of the Charter Zone campaign on Monday evenings. So come come join in and join in the conversation with us. Have some fun. Choose your favorite player and root for them. <laughs> come back. You have, well, you got to be sure to tune in next week or uh, this coming Monday so you can see what we decide to name these places. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, so we'll we'll throw, we'll throw that out as a tease. So tune in Monday to find out how we torture. Let us know below, but you think they should be named. There yeah, you go. we won't take. <laughs> we get any suggestions. <laughs> we'll go with them. That's true. Yeah. Okay. I'll I'll relent that. <laughs> I still think Ronald sucks should be the name of this place, but we'll discuss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hashtag middle school. It'll be six rounds. Ooh, that's a good one. Middle school. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like that. One of them should be like a new hope. Uh, Sector 7G. I, think yeah. I don't know what you're referring to. <laughs> <laughs> spoilers. Uh, There's a whole haven of possibilities. Yeah. Oh my god. Ooh, yeah. yeah, exactly. <laughs> so are we ready to. Yeah, let's close it out. So you can uh, find us. Oh boy, all the places. Twitter, <laughs> at Hardboard Games, Facebook, slash groups, slash Hardboard Games. In fact, it's all right here. I mean, I don't know why I'm talking about this. Uh, you can email us, heartboardgames at gmail.com. That'd be the easiest way to get a hold of us. Uh, Instagram as well, at Hardboard Games. I know you guys have Instagrams, one of those. Yeah, you can follow me at Ronald Hearts Board Games. I'm complicated. I'm hedges pictures. Hedges like trim the hedges. Pictures like take pictures. No board games mentioned. But board games posted fairly often. <laughs> yeah. And uh, that's all the places you can find us. Yep. Yeah, remember, there's no I in those. Where am I supposed to be looking? Oh, my goodness. Oh, that's th right. This one. This one. Yeah. No I in those. <laughs> there's no I in the camera at this point. Because <laughs> there's no I in board games. <laughs> now go hug your meeples.